What I'm going to do today is install a motion sensor light switch. Uh, got used this brand a couple of places in my house already. Uh, really like it. Picked it up on Amazon. Um, it's about $15 a switch. Actually, we have a, quite a big house and a lot of lights that get left on. So we bought a pack of 10 for $100. Um, one of the things about motion sensor light switches is you have your live your, and your load wires. It also requires a ground wire. And in this area of my house, which is built in 19, 1955, the light switches don't have ground. So I'm, I haven't taken this off yet, I've taken the, the face plate off, 99% sure there is no um, ground wire in there. So it's essentially just gonna be the live and the load wire. Um, I may not even be able to see, let me take it off. I'm, I'm wondering if I even be able to see the neutral. Um, so what I'm gonna walk through is how we get the motion sensor light switch to work when there is no ground wire available. Okay, so I've turned the breaker off now. Um, yeah, I'm getting no power in here, no light. So let's take this off. Yeah, just as I was anticipating, just two wires. So this is the motion sensor light switch. Um, pull it out here. So I've got my face plate. It actually has a clip on. So you screw this, this base uh, onto the wall and you just clip the face plate on. Here is the switch itself uh, with three cables already attached in the back of the fixture. Um, and then uh, so basically I've got my three pre-cut pre or pre-trimmed uh, cables that I need to connect. So in the switch itself, that's great. I can, I obviously know where my red and my black are going to go, uh, which is to uh, my, my live and my um, load up here. I don't have a cable for the, the ground. And in order for the switch to work, the ground has to be grounded. If you try and install it without the ground, uh, it will not work. So what I do have is a metal electrical box in here. So it's not the plastic, blue plastic you might find in newer homes. And this is works to our advantage just because I can take that screw at the back of the electrical box, uh, unscrew that a little bit, make a ground cable uh, wire or a copper wire and attach it to that screw and then use that wire to uh, join to uh, the green cable that I have here. And the it works as a ground because behind this metal box I have a metal conduit which runs all the way back to uh, the breaker box and uh, carries uh, away the the, uh, the the ground route. So that's what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna use actually some Romax wire uh, and make a, uh, a new ground cable. So I just have spare, um, spare electrical wire um, and my red and blind black, I don't need them. And I'm just gonna trim away about three inches of this uh, to make my to make my ground. And then I'm gonna bend the end of it and screw it in behind that screw. First, I'm gonna detach the existing light switch from uh, the cables. <clears throat> this one is, is has some white on it. It's, it's an old, old fabric cables, but I'm able to identify them, so I'm not worried about keeping them in the position. So here's my, my two cables that I have for the switch. And this right up here at the top, that's the screw that I was referring to that I can just loosen. And here's my copper wire that I've made and I'm gonna loosen, put around the screw, tighten the screw back up, and then use the other end of this new ground wire uh, as, to, as my tie-in to the uh, motion light fixture. Okay, so now I have a ground and my, my regular two cables 
Uh, now I can wire up the, the motion light fixture uh, and we can test this out. So now I have my three, three wires connected. The ground I've already pushed back. Um, and so, let's, so I'm gonna mount this thing, uh, test it, it should work, and then we'll program it and attach the faceplate. Okay, so I've turned the breaker back on uh, just after screwing this and pushing this back into the electrical box. The sensor didn't come on. So, no, that's a mistake, but although now I can see uh, some sort of light in there. So clearly the manual is working. So what we need to do is just take this up and change the settings on here. So you have three settings. You have a time, a uh, sensor and a light setting. Let me show you a little closer. Okay, so these are the options we have. So you see on the left, I have uh, time and I can adjust the, the time. In this hallway, uh, and I'm gonna have it as a one minute turn off. So I'll, I'll literally turn that to a zero. What I'm also going to have is, um, you know what, I was gonna do a manual on auto off, but I think I'll do automatic on and auto off. Uh, and then, no, I will go with the manual. So, so yeah, let's move the manual. So to get to the the, uh, the manual on uh, auto off, uh, I need to just put it in what's known as vacation mode. Uh, and I need to turn the, uh, the arrow on the light sensitivity all the way to that dot on the left. In fact, there's a, there's a, a vacation uh, mode highlighted on there. So, that's what I will set this light on, and then I'll put the face cover on. So as I mentioned at the beginning, the face plate is a little unique, no screw, uh, screws visible. So you have this plate, which we screw on over the top here with your traditional top and bottom screw, and then the face plate clips on. Really, really difficult to get off. Uh, and once you've got it on, it's harder to, accessible, uh, to access the uh, controls behind this panel as well. So. Probably my major negative of this switch is the challenge of changing these settings, but I do have one, and if you have a really small screwdriver, you can get it in the side here and, and pop this off without removing the faceplate. So if that stays up there, there is a top and a, and a base, so if that stays on there, I'm gonna leave that there and screw this in. My daughter, you might be able to hear her over there. Oh my gosh. So it has big fingers and the smallest screws in the world. Maybe not the smallest screws in the world, but get, get my point. Okay, let's throw on there, nice and snug. <clears throat> Faceplate also has a, a top, you can see it there in the light, a top and a bottom. So uh, that's the base and this is the top pry off. So these are the pry offs slots at the bottom. So it is possible to get this off, but it's really hard. Okay, so the collectors were on. So I have it on manual on and auto off. You can override, I can turn the light off and we're off and uh, it doesn't change any of the settings at all, which is one of the things again, I really like about this switch. So I want it on right now so I can finish recording. Uh, so that's how you install a motion sensor light light switch without having a ground in the wall. Um, the advantage is, of course, I can leverage the metal electrical box that's behind the light switch.